Hello and welcome to this week's coffee vlog. It's now Friday the 13th of October. Yes, Friday the 13th. Um, it seems like it's been a long time since we've had a Friday the 13th. Um, so yes, fortunately so far today nothing bad has happened. It's uh, been, oh, I'll tell you what, something bad has happened. My dash cam's not started. <laughs> What's the chances of that? Oh well, um, that's going to be an interesting intro then. Um, it's there, but it's, oh, it's taking photos. Why is Warning, it? I must have pressed the radar button too speed. many times. Ah, right, it's recording now anyway. So I'll just have a photo <laughs> stretched out for the first portion. That'll be good, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, so Friday the 13th, um, as is plainly evident, the police cars just zooming off down there, wonder where he's off to. Um, so yeah, this week has been, it's not been bad, to be honest, it's not been a bad week. Um, quite a lot on at work, um, fairly busy at home, I've uh, been trying my best to keep up with my YouTube, but I haven't done so great on that, to be honest. Um, just a little bit too, I don't know, don't, I say too busy, and then I'm, I don't really know what I've been doing. I was going all the way back up now, <laughs> back the way you came almost. Um, yeah, I don't know, it's kind of after work, getting in, I don't seem to be getting a lot done on an evening um, between doing sort of helping out with food with family and youngest wanting stuff and for some reason I've got into this waking early system now completely and um, the problem with that is I'm uh, I'm going to sleep early so I'm normally wiped out by about 10 o'clock um, but I'm waking up pretty early so which is not bad because I get plenty done. Um, obviously, last week we had, well, I had the Star Wars Battlefront 2 beta. Um, did on Saturday and Sunday manage to get some gaming in early in the morning again um, because it was the only time I could get a bit of peace and quiet and get access to the PlayStation it downloaded on to actually play the thing in the first place. Um, but yeah, it's. Uh, it's good, I really enjoyed it actually. Um, it's going to be a really good game. Um, I quite liked the sort of the new layout with the characters. You, you now have four characters to choose from and each one has its own particular special weapon type. So um, it's a bit of a case of um, You know, you choose your character, and he's the one that has the certain weapon. So that's pretty, um, pretty good. Also, um, there's a couple of game map modes, but I've got to admit, um, I'm not that keen on them. I mean, they're all right, but they weren't fantastic. Um, I'd, uh, I'd have liked a smaller map. I, I just like, you know, the sort of the smaller map the gameplay where you're kind of in tight and you're not getting sniped all the time by people miles away um, that just pff, it's kind of frustrating where you just never see the person who took you out because they were hidden away in some corner somewhere miles away and you know you're just running along trying to get to an objective or, or do something vaguely useful and that's it, you just get taken out before you ever even had a chance to see who it was or anything. So That side of it's still a bit annoying, but um, on the whole, loving the graphics, um, the reproduction of the characters was really good, they look good. Um, it's, um, it's pretty fast and furious gameplay, which I enjoyed. Um, so yeah, it's good. Star Wars Battlefront 2, when it's released, should be really, really good. Uh, I enjoyed the little sneak peeks of what we had. I even quite enjoyed the flying sections. They've updated that a lot, and it was a lot better than um, it had been previously. Um, 
you know, I, I kind of enjoyed it more. I didn't play as much of it, but with such a limited amount of time for the beta anyway, I wanted to get through sort of everything. Um, but yeah, it was good. I enjoyed that. So let me um, go and um, get rid of my parcels and we'll do Richard Nellis's words of wisdom. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, back from dropping off the parcels. I've emailed myself Richard Nellis's words of wisdom, so we shall get on and do that first before anything else. Uh, let's see what Richard Nellis has been up to. Uh, it was Victor Meldrew. I was at in the Alton Towers ticket queue for half an hour after he arrived at 10 a.m. on Saturday. I don't know, a half an hour at Alton Towers is not bad to wait for a ticket, to be honest, Richard. You can wait a lot longer just to get in uh, if it's busy. Uh, an outrun at the Electric Bowl uh, was out of order on Thursday evening. Oh, pretty bad going, isn't it? Um, he's been to the National Media Museum as a uh, Penang Magpie trip. And he had a look at Tim Peake's spacecraft. Very good, I bet that was exciting. Um, he's been watching Brastoff. Um, John Suchet in Russia for two weeks to do work for his next book of his Man Revealed which is about classical composer book series as it is about Tchaikovsky. Fair enough, I suppose. Uh, he's also been to the Royal Armouries on Monday uh, and a Saurus show about the Bengal military victory. Uh, he's also, definitely sang Ghostbusters on Tuesday at the Feathers. Very good. Um, the Six Wives of Henry VIII coming to Square Chapel in Halifax on the 27th of October. Very good. I hope people go there and drink lots of coffee. Uh, Star Wars The Last Jedi trailer. That was good. I've watched that. I like that. Looking forward to that in December. And he's going swimming on Sunday in Huddersfield. So, swimming Sunday in Huddersfield. Very good. Right, now we've got a massive queue of cars in the way. Let's see if we can get ourselves out of here. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. So, other than all the Star Wars Battlefront playing I've been doing at the weekend, uh, what else did I get up to? Whoops. Sorry, mate. Yeah. Um, what else has been happening? I uh, went swimming on Sunday with uh, the youngest lad, um, which is good, he enjoyed that. He's got his new swim vest going. Um, it was pretty good going backwards <laughs> with it, kicking his legs. But I wasn't getting much of him going forwards using his arms, um, which is a bit of a shame. Go on, mate, wherever you're going. Go on. Someone will let you out if we wait long enough. See, this one is. Generosity. See, everyone lets you out. Everyone. Car behind me, he'll run into me. But <laughs> whatever. You know, whatever. So, um, we went swimming, went and had a look around the crazy golf. <laughs> Didn't actually get anything to play crazy golf, but we went and had a look anyway. Um, and um, went into the park as well and did some sort of climbing about in the park. Uh, I'm, I've just noticed I'm still vibrating about a bit. Um, so Bob had this amazing um, idea because he managed to, he was using his, the rear camera. I always use the front one because I can see me in it um, with the front facing one. I can see where I am and if I'm focused and whatever else. Um, so I always use the front one, but I'm still seeing lots of wobble. Now, Bob said he tried his and he didn't have any wobble, but Good tip, thanks Bob. I hadn't realised you could change the format the video's encoded in. So I've tried knocking it down a bit. Um, I can't remember what I put it onto, but I lowered it from what it was on. Uh, and I might try lowering it again because that might help. Um, or it could be, um, it was saying you can get apps that you get more control over how the footage is handled and everything. So maybe I should install an app and that will cut down on the sort of vibration Morning. but to be fair part of the vibration and i can see it the phone's vibrating i mean the whole phone is moving 
on the holder so it might just be it's not so much the foam that's the problem it's the clamp I've got um, but I did try that where I jammed it against the uh, the phone against the dashboard um, which seemed like a really good plan at the time but of course what actually happened is all you could hear was scritch 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 from the mic because of course the mic's down the bottom Morning. And I basically jammed the mic <laughs> right against the um, the dashboard, so it was, it was scratching against that, and you could hear it through the mic. So that wasn't the best plan, really. Um, I could try jamming it against the glass of the windscreen going upwards. Um, that would probably just rattle a lot instead. So, or I could just stick with having wobbly footage. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Um, so yeah, so we did the swimming. Um, Sunday night I um, oh I did another another post on steam it um, tried to keep that up again one on mushrooms this time very exciting uh, I'll probably drop a link to that one actually um, didn't get as much um, value out of that one as I was wanting to to be honest it was a bit disappointing um, but I did try tried a different upvote thing which is supposed to be really really good and it didn't really do that good in the end so I'm pretty much just Morning. about breaking Cape even Radar. on that one I think from what I've put in to while I get back on it so um, that wasn't such a great uh, great one uh, then I did a little one last night because I uploaded that finally that the footage of the trip to Nelson speeded up um, so that one's up that one's up. I just got no funds left to upvote that particularly so it yeah, only got a few little ups to it um, and then, uh, obviously, this one I've got to put up as well, so I'm going to have to scrape together whatever bits and pieces I can um, for that, because I won't get paid out with big ones. Um, obviously, the amount I, I put the large amount in to the one I did on Sunday, the Mushrooms one, and I won't get all that money back from it until this Sunday, because it's a seven-day payout period for it. So, uh, like I say, I'll get everything up back out of it but I, I pretty much won't get a lot you know I'll get a little tiny squiggle again so it, it won't have made a lot whereas the the one I did on the Bitcoin mining I made quite a good amount from that um, compared to what I put in so I was happy with that let's see how it go because um, the thing is as well there's a constant little stream coming in on the steam it funds from the comments uh, I do on posts uh, other people's posts uh, upvoting and commenting you get sort of rewards for that as well especially if it's in the the first few hours of them being posted so that's not going too bad There's cars waving about everywhere there um, so yeah all that's good um, of course it's now getting to that time of year Halloween's coming um, obviously we've got Friday the 13th so um, there's no doubt been some spooky shenanigans going on with that as well. Um, but yeah, the youngest got a clown outfit this year for <laughs> obsessed with clowns. He's also had me get him a yellow rain mac, uh, and I've had to get one of these helium balloon tanks and some balloons. He wants the red balloon as well from the It movie. You seen the picture of the little lad who looks down the drain in his yellow rain mac? who has the red balloon and um yeah uh was your pup, your pup, well, <laughs> no one knows what to do I, I can go but i thought he was going to go and he's not going because the one's supposed to go it's confusing very confusing so yes he, he's got this idea as well he wants to be the little boy out of the it movie there you are uh <laughs> he also he saw the it movie book <laughs> in the supermarket last week like, look, look, because it's got the little, little boy in the yellow coat on again on the cover. It's like, yeah. It's like, oh, can't get it. I was like, yeah, but you've got to read every single page. He opened it and realised it was full of words. And there was a, like, a billion, billion ones. He's like, no, actually, I think I'll put it back. <laughs> um, I was like, yeah, you can have that book if you want, but you've got to read every single page, all the words. All the words. <laughs> Um, I, I don't, I don't know if it'd be appropriate for a 
seven year old to read a Stephen King novel but I honestly never expected that he would go near reading it because I know what he's like for reading he doesn't mind so much if they're very big letters <laughs> and there's not so many of them on the page with some pictures but present him a proper novel with lots of tiny text and millions and millions of pages with no pictures at all and it's just like what no chance um, so uh, and in fact <laughs> He FaceTimed me before I left work to inform me he, he needed a new uh, Minecraft uh, Minecraft app to... Um, he wants to create some new skins for his Minecraft characters and he's found a new app to do that, so he was after me. But I'm leaving work now, I'll be back soon. Like, well, you could just order it on your phone and then it'll come on my iPad, won't it? I was like, um, well, I'm not sure it will or not, but let's just wait till I'm back and I can order it on your iPad and then we don't need to mess about it too much. Um, it's, it's never a dull moment with my lot, is it? So, uh, it looks like Colby and Ellis are out up to no good again. Um, Ellis was the joker the other day when I came back. <laughs> it was the, the why so serious face mask sort of thing. Um, I think he's going to be a wolf, I think, he said. Uh, for Halloween. So, yeah, it's all been go, to be honest. Um, Star Wars Battlefront 2, that's been great. Uploaded tons. I've still got loads of videos to make live on YouTube yet, because I uploaded as much footage as I could as I was going along last weekend, but I didn't make all of it live, because I didn't want to bombard the channel with billions of the same stuff. So I thought if I spread them out a bit... Ooh, and off goes the camera. Right, so, yep, that's it, uh, have a good weekend and week next week, and I'll catch you in next week's coffee vlog. Okay, see ya!